Hello, good morning, my tenful hatters. How's everyone doing today? Anyway, I'm making this quick episode. So, uh, I know I made a video about the uh, fake uh, bombing of the nursery, which is fake. But I'm watching new videos of the actual war with Russia invading and doing actual damage as they invade Ukraine. Now, the reason why when I saw that video of the shell of the nursery, I knew it was fake. Two, uh, you see a tactics play guide by the Russians. Uh, most places, when they're invading, they'll go for an electronic warfare hack. But that's beside the situation. What comes to mind is that Biden, President Biden, didn't keep his mouth shut. And instead of working with Putin and instead of keeping his mouth shut, he had to go protect Hillary. So, who do we blame for the invasion of Ukraine? Uh, everyone's like, oh, well, Putin did this and he was going to do this. Yeah, but you gave Putin the chance. See, you encouraged him to do this shit, right? Let's let's not lie. Uh, Trump did something that kept Putin off. When Trump took over, he discouraged the pipeline that Russia wanted to build to Germany and says, no, you're not going to be doing that. Trump spoke wallet. Biden speaks incoherently. That's the best way I could say it. And what we have now is a very bad situation. Ukraine, but by the Democrats. This president should be impeached for how he's handled foreign affairs. I'm dead serious. I think after watching this whole thing with this administration, the American public is going to look at things a little bit differently. To all those who identify as strong, independent people of color or strong, independent woman of color who's running for office and stuff like that, they're going to look at them as the most corrupt politicians in the United States. See, the Democrats are making people look really bad. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't strong, independent people of color that are in office doing good things. Take a look at Winston Sears, who is the lieutenant governor uh, to, I think it is Governor Yunkin of Virginia. She is a really good one. Good example, right? But let's take a look at bad examples. Lori Lightfoot of Chicago, where the crime is so bad that the homicide rate outpaced Mexico City. Yeah, I know, right? In Mexico, Chicago got you beat, man. But don't worry, the cartels will be back on the rise doing their evil shit to the point of where they're going to have another atrocities. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, uh, this situation, uh, they're, 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 supposedly there's fights going off near the Tromol nuclear power plant. And I'm just praying and I'm hoping to God that the Russians or the Ukrainians don't do something stupid and blow up the shield that is currently keeping the reactor from leaking radiation. That would be a bad new no, no. That would go really bad. But anyway, those are the things and the stories that are going on right now. Uh, I just hope this 22 midterms, we get the Republicans. The biggest thing that's going to happen right now, and it is not a if, it is going to be when, is China's going to go for Taiwan. Uh, you know, the, the, the CCP creepy people. They're going to strike at Taiwan. They're going to go into Taiwan. They're going to... They're going to go after Taiwan. With this administration, it will happen. With the leaders who are making deals with China, like Nancy Pelosi, uh, LeBron James and all that, it will happen. And, you know, <laughs> I don't get it. You know, I, I look at a lot of things that just don't add up, you know, and I, I think right now uh, we are in a very bad situation and we have to take a step back. Now, the situation with Putin, Trump was different. Trump actually had the balls to shut these people up. Why? Trump was a man of action. First, he wasn't afraid of China. says, you know what? Go ahead, sanction us. Oh, that's right. You ain't got no food. What else did he do? He didn't put his businesses in front of everyone else like the Biden administration did. The reason why Putin is attacking Ukraine, well... So much for that natural gas, that gas company, Burisma. It's now under the Russians' hands. And Biden just gave up Burisma on a silver platter. Now, he's going to think that, oh, we need to get a rally to go get his thing, get a distraction. It ain't going to happen. 
Americans are, are not in the mood to fight with Russia or getting to another tiff. We lost a lot of good equipment. We lost some good men and people in Afghanistan. And the disaster from the um, situation there is still fresh in Americans' minds. So uh, a lot of things have happened uh, in the news. The Asian community has come up with and pretty much are breaking their, 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 their ties with the Democrats. They're tired of it. And uh, San Francisco is a good example. Uh, we had three crazy, insane members of the teachers union or the teachers of the school board removed. I think very much adamantly anyone with a teachers union caught being a card carrying member of the Socialist Party should be arrested and denied. I don't believe philosophy majors, right? Anyone who calls themselves a doctor starts talking about medical stuff and doesn't have a medical license should be allowed to talk. And I think also, too, new laws need to be put in place that no one who's ever sit at the board of drug companies should ever have a seat at the CDC or the Food and Drug Administration. Right now, uh, Trudeau has gotten rid of his Emergency Powers Act, but the freezing of the bank accounts is still going on, and that's creating an issue with the crown. And when I say the crown, I mean the Queen of England. She's not too happy with it. And I don't know how long Trudeau is going to last, but we saw what he did with the Emergencies Act to dissent anyone who disagrees. The question is, if they do that here, what would happen? And the one thing I love about the United States is every state has its own military. So Nancy Pelosi, who was Speaker of the House, got this idea that she could tell which representatives could come into Congress and which one cannot. I'm sorry, but that's not how that works. When a state sends its representatives, you don't throw them off. You do, it can be considered an act of war. That is just the facts. And recently we've seen the Democrats try to push her things. Now, the biggest thing is this whole voting rights thing. One, it's not about voting rights. It's about, well, people who can't get ID to vote should be allowed to vote, shouldn't vote. Everyone has to have an ID to make a sale or a purchase. What it really was is they were trying to secretly get illegals to vote so they can overthrow our election. All right. It had nothing to do with people of color. People in the black community have IDs. They can go vote. Yeah. They're not falling for it. Charlemagne the God had even said it. And it's just, these are the things that are going on right now. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future. And, and these are the news reports that have, that have already come out. I am not saying this because I'm late to the game. So there's that. So may you have a good day. Peace and if you have to call up your state rep call up your representatives and put pressure on this White House. You need to tell them like, you know what? I don't know why you should be in office. Maybe we should recall you because you're not going to put pre pressure on the White House to stop these stupid ideas. We got to bring back the pipeline. See, as everyone who who's been hating on Trump, let's be honest. He was a great businessman and he got the country going good. He knew what needed to be done. He kept us from inflation. The moment that this guy shows up in office, he says, I want all my stuff, so I'm going to take it away. Instead of keeping the good policies, he tore it all out. And people don't understand that. Now, if you always want to know what's inside a bill that is ever produced or set up, house.gov. House.gov is a government-supplied website that tells you what every bill is being submitted in the, in the House of Representatives and in the Senate. This website allows you to see through the BS. So before you go to Fox, before you go to MSNBC, before you go to any news station, it is your job to check out house.gov because they have all the facts. It is a free website. It is provided by the U.S. government and it tells you what's in every bill that is produced. So you know who is lying and who's telling the truth. And you find out something very disturbing. This is Tenfold Hat News signing out.